been a, another interesting day. I've spent most of it here. really a skier. Instead I'm going to go down on the children's little sledging thing in this rubber ring. Hello, just me. Is it okay? It's okay, yeah. I know. Oh really? I did it once before. Oh, really? Yeah. So you have to bring all the time. Okay. Yep. So please don't hit the wall. Okay. Okay. I'll try. <laughs> Sorry, I did try to stop. <laughs> so what do you do if you're feeling a little bit too cold out right here? Well, you can get yourself an igloo. sleep in your igloo. You can get out a book and have a nice read. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a start on oh, Agatha Parrot and the Floating Head. Agatha Parrot and the Floating Head was written by Kjartan Poskit and illustrated by David Taziman. This book is the first in a series about Agatha and her friends Bianca, Martha, Ivy and Ellie who go to primary school on Odd Street in the UK. This book is written almost like Agatha's diary or maybe like you're listening to her very thoughts. Hiya and thanks for trying out this book but before we get on to the story I've got to warn you about something. It starts all nice and normal like this. Last Tuesday me and Ivy went for tea at Martha's house but there's a bit later on where Martha's head explodes. Don't worry because she's all right even if one of the teachers was trying to chop her head off with an axe. It all ends up happily ever after with everyone having ice creams so is that okay with you? Good. I'll be honest and say that I didn't really, really like this book. It's kind of like a one joke story, even though it's 187 pages long. You know from the start that her friend's head is going to explode in some way or other, and you find out pretty early on that it's her, it's not really her friend's head, it's actually a balloon, and really the question is just, how is it going to explode and when? And obviously it's going to be near the end of the book. I feel like some other books would have 
made this joke in just a few pages instead of having the whole book about it. But I suppose a lot of people would quite like it. I think I would recommend this for maybe primary two or primary three um, boys and girls. Not so much if you're older than that. Even though some of the language, some of the English is a little bit tricky. So that's Agatha Parrot. I wasn't crazy about it, but it's okay. <laughs>